One way to improve oxygenation during airway pressure release ventilation is to titrate the T low. So what we first want to do is we want to assess the peak expiratory flow termination point. So here's my flow waveform, and we want to look at the expiratory portion of it. And I'm just going to freeze the screen so I can really take a look at the peak expiratory flow. And I want to look at the termination point. So here's my peak expiratory flow, and here's my termination point. And if it's below 50% of the measured peak expiratory flow, which it is, I want to decrease my T low setting to a termination point up to 75% of the peak expiratory flow. And the reason for this is this maximizes the end expiratory lung volume. So if we look here, I'm just going to unfreeze the screen. So I have a lot of room to play. I've up to I can really lower my setting. It's going to increase my expiratory volume. So I'm going to go to my controls and here's my T low setting and I will just decrease this. By decreasing this, it traps more volume. Let's just turn it down to 0.4 and let's reassess. I'm going to freeze my screen so I can reassess the expiratory flow waveform. And as you notice, here's my peak expiratory flow. Here's my termination point. And we're getting there. And I'm going to decrease my T low a little more. And you always want to do this at small steps at a time and reassess the waveforms to make sure you don't go too extreme above 75%. And if we evaluate it, we look at our peak expiratory flow and the termination point, and now we're um, above 50%. We're getting our goal now here. So that's how you would try to improve oxygenation by titrating the T low.